Thierry's attitude that carried on from being a rugby player followed through to his whole attitude towards business, towards life, can-do attitude, never took a step backwards, didn't allow himself to be pushed around and led by example for his team. For Scott McCashin, staying true to his father Thierry's legacy is front of mind every day. In 1981, former All Black Terry McCashin and his wife Bev decided to take on the two big corporations that dominated New Zealand's beer market. For anyone in the 1980s to come along and say, I'm going to take on a duopoly in New Zealand's economy where they control raw ingredients, the market and intellectual property was pretty ballsy. Fast forward 40 years and family-owned McCashin's Brewery has come full circle with Scott growing the business into the largest independent brewer in New Zealand, still based on its original site, the former cider factory in Stoke Nelson. The factory has a lot of history because it's, it's old, it's not planned, it's something that's evolved. So it started as a cider factory and the brewery has grown throughout the, the, the inside of the cider factory. We still continue with that small business family feel. We have to have that to be able to survive in this industry. Everyone has to work hard as if it's their own business here. That's something that's been the case since the 80s and is still the case today. That's led to expansion into other categories like carbonated beverages and staying ahead of market trends by becoming an all-can brewery. The move to cans really was driven by our customer base. So we got a lot of feedback from people asking us to move to cans. It was a huge deal for us. We'd always been in bottles. It was a big investment. With the new canning line able to produce 24,000 cans an hour, McCashins has had more flexibility to expand its traditional craft beer and cider offerings. Our experience in brewing has definitely given us an opportunity to move into different product categories. So brewed soft drinks is an area that we want to use our skills and our infrastructure to build into. With less energy used to ship lighter beverage packs, the move to cans has also significantly reduced the firm's carbon footprint. A big focus at McCashin's is offering craft beverages at accessible price points. McCashin's products are a significant part of our beer and cider sales. In fact, uh, the Rochdale cider and the ginger beer 12 packs uh, are our category leaders, so they do really well in our store. At the brewery's tap room, restaurant and bar, it's time for Scott to enjoy a quiet ale with his family and catch up on all the news from the next generation of McCashins. Everyone in the family has, has played their part in this business at some stage or other. I've been involved with all of them. We've evolved to the state right now, which is a, a very strong position, and we're ready to, to capitalise on what we've created. Terry would be blown away with what we've achieved over the last five years. He'd be very proud of where we're at, where we're heading. He knows that what we're doing here is building something which has meaning and that the whole family can be proud of. And I'm sure he is. Mm -hmm.